Hello friends and welcome to this video series Programming Made Easier. Today we are going to talk about dynamic memory allocation in C++. So you remember when we talked about dynamic memory allocation in C programming language. We talked about functions like malloc, calloc and realloc, right? All of these are used to dynamically allocate memory from heap, right? So in C++, they have made it significantly easier to allocate memory dynamically. Integer pointer p equal to new int and let's say 100, right? Here, this syntax will allocate memory space of 100 integers from the heap, this is our memory structure for a program in execution. If you remember this well, we talked about this in detail in our C videos. So this is your code segment. This is your data segment, right? There is your stack and heap with a flexible boundary. And there is your data section. Data section is used to store global static kind of variables stack local variables and heap for allocating memory dynamically it is same in c++ right so when you say this new int 100 right it means that we need memory for storing 100 integers from heap so it will find that block of memory in heap for storing those 100 integers and Whatever the base address, the starting address of that, let's assume it's 2000. This address will be returned and will be assigned to P. So P will now store this return address 2000. So P will be a variable where it will store the starting address 2000. So this is really neat syntax in C++ to allocate memory dynamically. So here you can actually use variable. Right? It's not mandatory. This is not like array syntax where you have to use, you have to specify size. So you can use a variable here, right? And then what you can say is that something like C in, right? N, that is enter the number of integers you want to allocate memory for and then use that variable N here inside this uh, square brackets, right? So that way it is dynamic. You can decide runtime how much memory you want to allocate. Now let's take another example. Let's say I want to store a string of dynamic length. So I'll say new char and let's say 30, right? So I want memory for storing 30 characters dynamically from heap. So it will try to find from heap a memory block for storing 30 characters, right? Whatever the starting address of that memory block is, that starting address will be returned to C, right? So C will store that starting address. One significant change from the syntax in C language and syntax in C++ language is, the C equivalent of this statement will be character star C equal to, I have to type cast, malloc size of character into 30 right so this is my c equivalent of the same statement now you see the difference first of all malloc returns void pointer we talked about this when we discussed the c language dynamic memory allocation so malloc or calloc or realloc all of them return void pointer so we have to typecast into specific kind of pointer before assigning it this is not required in c++ because while allocating memory dynamically, you are also mentioning the data type. Which, which kind of data you intend to store in the dynamically allocated memory, you also specify that in the syntax. So no need to typecast from void pointer to specific kind of pointer. Second, again here, while mentioning how many bytes you want from malloc, you have to specify size of character into 30. Again, that is not required in this syntax. Once you mention this char, it means that you want space for storing 30 characters. Or when you say integer n, it means that 
you want memory for storing n number of integers right so even this size of your operator you don't have to use right that is generally the nuance of c++ the syntax of c++ is more intuitive more uh, user friendly now we have seen dynamic memory allocation now let us see how to deallocate memory so if you remember in order to avoid issues such as uh, dangling pointer or memory leakage we must free or we must deallocate the memory uh, the dynamically allocated memory once we are done with our usage right so here in c++ you have delete keyword to deallocate or to free the dynamically allocated memory right it requires the pointer name the base address right so in this case it will be c right but there is a small difference here you have to specify this subscript notation that means c has been allocated memory for more than one characters right so free all that memory right if you just use delete c it will only deallocate memory for one character right and that again will result into memory leakage because let's say if you are allocating memory for 30 characters here right so let's say this is the memory block allocated yeah please assume that this is 30 right so c points to the starting address let's say that is 1500 right if you say delete subscript notation c it will deallocate all of this this entire block of memory right it will be freed will be available for allocation again but if you just say delete c it will only deallocate this one character this much memory space will be deallocated and the rest of them will still remain allocated resulting into memory leakage so it is important if you are allocating memory for storing more than one element you must use this subscript notation in the delete statement if you are allocating memory only for storing one element for example character star c equal to new char here you are dynamically allocating memory to store only one character then this is okay that will deallocate that memory for one character otherwise you have to use this subscript notation please do not forget that right it is easy to use and we will see the application of this in the upcoming videos when we talk about objects and classes right see you in the next video